It's morning time. Cock a doodle doo. Rise and shine, or you'll miss today's tale. Last time I heard Bear tell a story, it was a wonderful It was one of those magical stories. It was a fresh story. I'm coming. Oh, dear. We're going to be late. Yeah, this is awful. Hi, how, how, how the heck do you get down? <laughs> Out of my way! Ow. Hey, everybody, come on! It's almost time for the story! I'm so excited to hear this story! I'm so excited Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, where is Bear? I don't see him anywhere. I'm a little late. <laughs> so, is anybody in the mood for a story? That's right. That's a good one. Make it a good story. Make it a good story. It's really long, yeah. too. Oh, I see everybody's here. Well, I know you guys are waiting for a story, and I think I've got just the one. Now, listen closely, and I hope you like it. Every story starts with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time in a small little village in the woods, there lived two wonderful friends, a rabbit named Scotty and a squirrel named Lolo. They did almost everything together, and one day they decided they would build a new storehouse where they could save all the food they needed to preserve for the upcoming winter. Three, four! four. <laughs> this storehouse is gonna be amazing. We'll put in enough food to get us through the winter. Thanks for helping me out. I never could have done it without you. Hey guys, you seem really busy. What are you doing? Why don't you mind your own beeswax? <laughs> We're building a storehouse. Why don't you just use the old this one? This year's crop is going to be really big, and we need a lot more room. I barely made it by last winter, but with all the crops we have this year, we're going to need a bigger storehouse. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting, guys. Bye-bye. Scotty, I think I'm going to start collecting fruit. Go ahead, Lolo. I'll finish up here. <sighs> all right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye, Scotty. Bye. Huh? Ah! Hey, ah. Fox! I think maybe I better take care of the fishing. All right, then I'll just take a little nap. Ah. Scotty and Lolo are building a warehouse. Oh, that sounds good. And maybe they'll fill it with lots of yummy stuff that we can fill our bellies with. Ah. But Coon, the thing is she's building it in her own yard. What? That means we might have to work hard this year. But that's not fair. I hate working. <sighs> Coon, hang on. I think this is a great idea. Let's let him do it. Fox, I don't know anything about storing food. We'll hmm. starve. I'm thinking that we can work this situation to our advantage. In fact, I've got a great idea. This is going to be good. <laughs> Come on, bring your drum. There's no use getting angry. We're going to have some fun at the expense of that rabbit and squirrel and get some grub to boot. <laughs> He's coming! Oh, this sure is heavy. A one and a two and huh? a... La, 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 la. Looks like you're really busy there, Scotty. What? How can you work on a day like today? It's too hot. I'm getting overheated just looking at you. Huh? Hey, Coon is right. You should take a break. Relax a little and get back to work once it cools down a little. You can hang out with us for a bit. We're having a grand old time. Could I really? <laughs> of course you can. After all, we're friends. Come on. Yeah, follow us. <laughs> Maybe 
you later. It's really warm. I guess maybe Fox is right. <laughs> I need to get some rest. I plan to have it all finished later. Scotty, we don't have a lot of time. It's going to get cold soon, and we have to store our provisions. Gee, you worry too much, Lolo. You'll see. I know I'll get everything finished before the winter comes. I promise. If you don't finish before winter arrives, what will you do? You'll have nowhere to store your food. Gee, when you put it that way, well, you're right. I'll finish it. This is so much fun. There's nothing like relaxing. <laughs> huh? Give me that. Now we'll have some real fun. What brings you to these parts? You looking for us? Oh. Bet you figured it was time to have some fun, huh? <laughs> Come on, we're gonna have a blast. We'll have a good time together. Oh, I don't know, I was on my way home. Home, schmo. Let's party. It's time to get down. <laughs> You'll like it. Whoa. Come on, our parties are the best. Here you go. Good lemonade, huh? Delicious. <laughs> Help yourself. Just pig out. <laughs> Listen to this crew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great beat! <laughs> you guys are awesome! <laughs> Hey, buddy. You having a good time, Scotty? This is great, huh? Scotty, come to the lake with us! Oh, sure, I'd like that an awful lot. <laughs> All right, then. See you at the lake Bye. tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> He sure likes hanging out with us. Too bad he can't see. Ah, get your head on straight. This is all part of a brilliantly conceived master plan. Scotty, what are you doing? Ah. Lolo, Fox, and Coon invited me to play with them. They had a party. It was so much fun. What? It was too hot to work. Oh, and tomorrow we're going to the lake. Want to come? There's nothing like a good swim to cool you down. That's what I always say. Oh, you promised you'd work on the storehouse. You shouldn't waste time, Scotty. But they're so nice. They want to be my friends. I wouldn't trust them if I were you. Listen to me. They're all right. And we had so much fun. <laughs> Just promise me you're going to work on the storehouse tomorrow. Sure thing. Right then. Promise me you'll work on the storehouse. Don't worry, Lolo. Of course I will. <sighs> Where's Scotty? <laughs> Let's look for him. Maybe he doesn't want to come. Then we've got to convince oh? him to come. Come on, Whoa. use your brain. Invite him to my birthday party. Wow, well, but it's not even close to your birthday. No kidding. But Scotty doesn't know that, you dope. Ooh, then can my birthday be tomorrow? No, I didn't. Oh, no, find him. Scotty! Scotty, Scotty, what are you doing? Aren't you going to come play with us? I can't. I have to work. Uh, but today is Fox's birthday. We're throwing him a surprise party. You have to come or he's going to be really upset with you. Not. Hey, Scotty, you can't show up empty-handed. You've got to bring something for the celebration. You're right. 
right. <laughs> wow, tomorrow's Coon's birthday? <laughs> you can take that to the bank, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We'll organize another party. That'll be really fun. And I'll just have to make the time. <laughs> <laughs> here. Ah, don't worry. You don't need to build anything. You can store all your winter food in the den in our home. We have some extra space. Really? You'd let me do that? Wow. Of course. True friends help their friends out in their moment of need. <laughs> and Fox is one of your best friends. Of course he's going to help. And so will I. Here you go, Scotty. Why don't you hold on to the key to our home? It's the least we can do. I can't thank you enough. Ha. Huh. Neither can we. A toast to true friendship. Fox's den as a storehouse. What? He's got an extra Scotty, room. no! That's a really bad idea! 
big deal! Aw, <laughs> oh, oh, Lolo, don't be such a worrywart. Fox and Coon are my friends, and they're really helping me out by letting me use their den. Scotty, I'm begging you, don't do this! <laughs> You're being silly. I'll see you later. <laughs> Boy, is that rabbit dumb! <laughs> Look at all this great food! Quick, get out of here! He's coming! I don't want him to catch us! Fox! Fox! <laughs> hey, Scotty, come on in. Sorry, Coon and I aren't helping. We have a horrible cold. <laughs> don't worry, I can handle it by myself. Feel better. <laughs> you sure are one sneaky fox. Thanks, but this bunny just makes it way too easy. I'll get one more cart of food and then I'll take a rest. Oh, that rabbit is a better friend than he knows. <laughs> It wasn't until deep into the winter that Scotty realized his store of food had been depleted. Oh, I haven't got anything left in the house to eat. Oh, oh. oh I know. <laughs> I'll get my storage from Fox's den. I'm so glad I stored up food for the winter. Now I won't go hungry. Ah, I'm gonna have to thank them again for letting me use their den to store my winter harvest. Maybe I'll bake them a pie to say thanks. But what waited for him was not at all what he was expecting. Fox, I've got to get some of my food out! Huh? Oh. Oh. The provisions are gone, and so are they!
I had been so foolish. I thought they were my friends. Only I listened to Lolo. Oh, he was right all along. I shouldn't have trusted them. I wasted time playing when my real friend wanted to help me prepare for the winter. I don't blame Lolo if he never forgives me. I don't know what to do. trust you. You were right about them. Now I know you are my true friend. <laughs> Don't worry about it. After the winter's gone, I'll help you to build a new storehouse. You won't have to worry again. Thank you, Lolo. <laughs> Thank you. I would never abandon you, Scotty. Uh -oh. We're true friends. So what do you say, kids? Did you like today's story? <laughs> if you come back tomorrow, I'll have another new tale to tell you. And I know you're just going to love it. You're so excited. There, will you have a story for me tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Something exciting with lots of adventure. But for right now, we've got to go. <laughs> yeah, let's all go home. Today's story. You think tomorrow we'll have a story that good? Let's hear it for the fair! Let's hear it for the fair! He's the best storyteller in the jungle! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's home safe. Everybody's home safe. We sure are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.